evening everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Jiggy John Show. We're streaming today right here in the heart of Kuala Lumpur and we are in a brand new venue. What happened? That's okay, you know what? This is the heart and soul of me, Jiggy. You're right here at my headquarters. This is Jiggy, the hub of Eventainment Asia right here in Kuala Lumpur. So we are back and it is so exciting. We had a great first episode, folks. And last week, Nadia set some hearts aflutter by offering this uh, Stojo cup. And we did say the best comment. And so the best comment that wins from last week is this. Riveting show. Go green or go home. Sustainable is the way to go and savouring my favourite beverage. Hashtag the Jiggy John Show. And it goes to Mr. Heng Ekwan. Well done, champ. Alrighty. Now, what's happening today? So we've got a new venue. Thank you so much to the cabinet last year because you... Last year, last week, you guys were awesome and I'm so thankful for that. But today, folks, the reason I'm doing this show is to disrupt showbiz. I'm a showman. I've been producing events from clowning to this today. I am doing this because it's all about being disruptive. So hence, I am following my dreams. This is my bucket list that I'm crossing it off. And on that note, who is today's guest? Well, guess what? He is what we call a tech entrepreneur who started his career in traditional business and is now a full-blown technopreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, episode two of the Jiggy John Show, streaming live from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Mr. Aaron Sarma. Hey. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you doing, buddy? Doing good. Thank you for joining me on the show today. Congratulations. It was a great show last week. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to this week. I'm glad you tuned in because all of y'all should be tuning in as well. Had to do my research. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so, Aaron, we're going to go straight into it. Now, we've known each other for what, 20 years maybe? Yeah, at least 20 years. Uh, 20 yeah. plus, I think at now. Least, yeah. And as far as I remember, we both started in traditional businesses. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit more of where you began uh, and how the jump happened to where you are today. So, and I want our viewers to understand that it is very possible to go from old school to new school and be the best at your game because uh, I think you are. So, ahem, oh, thank ahem. You. tell us your story. Sure. Um, so, I, I mean, I, as you know me, I, we went to college together, actually. That's, 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 our, that's help, our story. Help University. That's Ooh -hoo. right. We were there when it was underground. That's and correct. Now they've destroyed that whole place and now it's a beautiful mall that's coming up there. It, uh, that's true. <laughs> But <laughs> I was one of those guys who did the Helsinki program. That's correct. So we went to, uh, to Finland to study. Uh, and then when we came back, obviously, we all had to find things to do with ourselves. Okay. And I, I mean, I was one of those guys who always knew I was going to do something involving business. And I guess okay. that comes from my father being in business all my life, seeing him do business. That and is I correct. Thought, and I thought to myself, I wasn't particularly good at anything, so I'll try That's to do anything. That's a big fat lie, by the way, because uh, he is Mr. Modest. For those who know Aaron Sarma well, uh, next to me, he's... <laughs> extremely modest and yeah. he's being very uh, very modest about that so moving on <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay you're too kind but yeah so I, when, I, when i when i got back i want, didn't know what i was going to do with myself yeah. so my first job was actually in an advertising agency i didn't know that yeah like i, I short stint six months i didn't know what I, I mean i went for a bunch of interviews didn't like any of the options that i had and then very i thought to cool. myself I, you know nicole from facebook Nicole Tan. Yeah, right. So, okay. uh, so at the time she was in advertising, I thought to myself, huh, she looks like it's a really exciting job. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try a stint. So we need to get on the show, by the way. You should. I'm putting it out there, Nicole Tan. I'm coming after you whether you like it or not. Yes. Sorry, Nicole. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. He started it first. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm oh, coming after you. I own it. It's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but I, I, I was there like for six months because while I was there, somebody introduced me to network marketing. Okay. So oh. I was one of those guys who joined one of those companies. I forgot about uh, that. Yeah. yeah and, <laughs> Holy smokes, Omega yeah. Trend. Yeah, yeah, this was way back when. And you oh. joined too, under me. Under yeah. Mini. <laughs> <laughs> mini. Mm. So, uh, I had no idea what I was doing, but I thought this was interesting. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the vibe of the thing. Uh, long story short, I w I, in like two years, I rose to the top of that business. I remember that. Uh, and I was the youngest in the history of the I company to do that. 24 or 25 at that point? Like, yeah, to, um, about 24. Okay. Just about 24. Okay. Uh, after that, um, I decided I wanted to do other things. And yep. actually, at the time, my father had businesses as well. So I, I joined him for a couple of years doing that business. I know all about that because we did events for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Jiggy did events for his traditional businesses. Yeah. And today, I'm doing work with him in his new age businesses. That's why I got him on the show. Because this man knows his shit. You also did my wedding. Just so, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. I was that's a right. wedding yeah. planner so, as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is getting juicier and juicier. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of cronyism and nepotism Exactly. And then you invite so me on the show. And a lot of people think, right? Uh, 
But truth be told, folks, this is a genuine story. And I yeah. think for you guys out there who may be contemplating getting into business, especially starting from ground zero, I think he's got a great story. And we'll come back to that more later. But tell us quickly of your foray straight into new age business. Sure, I was just going to go there. So okay. like, actually, it, it took a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, I knew I wanted to get into tech because I thought it was interesting. And I've yeah. always been a geeky kind of guy. Uh, well, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I, geeky. Yeah, mm. yeah. I remember I used to go into all the computer shops, and I, but I knew I, I had no idea what tech business was all about, right? Okay. So, but there was this time when Groupon was getting really popular. That is correct. If you remember, like in the 2010s, 2011. It was a craze. Yeah, and they just bought this company in Malaysia uh, called Groupsmall okay. by Joel Neo and, at the time, right? And, they, and, and Kylie, and they became this we'll put your thing. Yeah, you don't Not know? my thing. No. Okay. And so I was like, wow, this is an interesting business. And okay. I remember talking to a friend of a, one mama session saying, yep. This sounds like something that's doable, right? Okay. Um, and lo and behold, just a week later, it's completely unplanned. Okay. Somebody calls me and says, hey, we've looked at your profile. Yes. Would you mind being the country manager of a Singaporean entity once opened in Malaysia to oh. be employee number one? I said, hey, that's really cool. So I jumped at it because okay. I thought, hey, this is my way to kind of get my feet wet, try something different. Yes, I've never of tried course, it before. of course. And I ran that for three years. We, wow. It was a great opportunity. The company was called Street Deal. We had a fantastic team. That we had is a correct. lot of fun. Yep. Learned a lot. And That's right. I uh, bought some cool. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I was in Hyderabad, India <laughs> when my credit card wow. gets swiped for five cameras off Street Deal. Yeah. And because wow. I knew the country manager, I call him from there and say, dude, I didn't buy any cameras. Yeah. Make sure that order never gets shipped. Yeah. So yeah. it was fraud. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, there were a lot of these kind of crazy things in the early days that of the dot com. Right. Right? I forgot about uh, that. But you know, when we, when we first started, I remember there were like days where I had to get deal for the next day, yeah. like a deal for the next day. That's right. Best and I didn't deal. have one. Oh boy. And I was like walking randomly in Bangsa and Tamantun looking for somebody to go and hijack and get a deal. It, hap it worked once, oh, I wow. must say. Uh, and the guy put up the deal the next day, but it was kind of, it was really stressful. So I want to ask you some. Uh, real hot fire, or what do we say? Hot seat questions here. Sure, this guy. Uh, I want you to come up with really fast answers and tell me straight away worst job ever. Uh, I don't know if I've had a worst job ever, okay. but I've had very uncomfortable moments. So, one of those moments. Tell was, me one, yeah. dude. So, one was that the, the whole point where uh, I was sharing about how we couldn't get the deals, right? Okay. That was really stressful. Another time that was really difficult was even during the touristy journey, right? There were okay. points where we ran out of cash. Boy. And we had difficulty trying to make payroll. Okay. And these were all challenges you have in a startup experience. So I, I don't know if that's a. Well, that, I was thinking more like maybe you had to sweep the floor, mop, you know. Yeah, but yeah. so the thing is, right? You learn that this is part of the, part of the game, right? Fair enough. As if Fair you're enough. running the business, you got to do everything, right? Best yeah. job ever. Uh, I like what I'm doing now. <laughs> uh, I, I can't say. <laughs> Worst day ever. Worst day ever. I remember this. This is in December of 2016. Wow. Okay. So you mentioned just now a pitch at Palace, all right? Yeah. So we had one pitch at Palace uh, in Malaysia, okay. and we oh, went yeah. to the UK to do Mandarin the pitch. Oriental, right? Mandarin Oriental, yeah. right? And we did were to do the pitch again uh, in St James's Palace, okay. in, in London, right? Yes. Uh, and that that event was in December, right? Okay. Right after the pitch in Malaysia, which was I believe in June, okay. That's when I had the chat conversation with Tony right. about acquiring the business. Okay. So we were already talking about this deal, and I knew it was going through. We uh, had went through the board, got approved, we knew it was happening. Yep. But the money in the bank was dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. Okay. And, I, and it was getting really, really stressful. Okay. And I remember, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 23rd of December, just before, before I mean, every had left for Christmas mm -hmm. and I was alone in the office. And I was thinking to myself, man, it's really like the best of times and the worst of times. Christmas. I've got a deal that's coming that's going to be yeah. fantastic for the business, yep. going, to take us, we're going to take us to places we never dreamed of, of before. Course, of course. At the same time, there are real world problems as well. So that was like a very trying moment for me. Yeah. Well, but you're here today, which yeah. means you made it. So straight away, best yeah. day ever. Best day hey, ever. Hey, hey. I was The there. day my daughter was born. Oh, I was going to say the day he got married, but yeah, well, yeah, daughter, yeah, yeah. Daughter, daughter more important. Yeah. So. <laughs> wife will understand. Yeah, wife will understand. <laughs> Without her, it would never exist. I understand. So, yeah. Favorite thing to do? Favorite thing to do, have a cup of coffee in the morning uh -huh. and unwind. All right. So, I mean, you know this about me, but people who see me at work don't, yeah. don't get okay. this. I'm an introvert. Okay. So I enjoy being by myself. So the next one might yeah. be the same thing. Yeah. To chill is to... Have a cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is tech to you? Keep it short, man. Oh, tech is anything that is able to empower an existing business. Okay. And in this case, it's usually digitally, like using a computer or using... You know, Wi-Fi, whatever, but it empowers business. And right away, what is old school to you? 
<laughs> what is old school? Old school is yes. going to an airport in a certain country, which I won't say, okay. where everything is paper. You got to chop the passport, you got to chop the visa, and you know, there are countries <laughs> that do this. To me, that's really old school. New school. New school is whenever you think of a new way to do something. Okay. And um, and an example is of course like what we do at our business, where okay. before you had to go to the theme park and buy the ticket. Now okay. you can buy it beforehand. So these are new schools. iPhone. It's my best friend. Android. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only short answers you've really given me. I know, okay, I know. so now we're going to actually have a competition. I'm going to okay. need you to get on your phone, man. Wow. I'm giving you a chance to get on your phone. This is probably... All right, we're actually going to run a trivia contest amongst each other. And we're going to do this on the show every week, by the way. With all my guests, we're going to have a trivia competition. So what you need to do, uh, Aaron, is go to crowd.live. 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 And I don't know these questions, by the way. We're both sitting in the hot seat right now. We're going to battle it out with 10 questions. And the winner, actually, no, I should say this the other way around. The loser has to post the craziest selfie ever with the hashtag TJJSLoser. And I'm hoping to God you lose because you don't post a lot of selfies. Whereas True. I'm pretty much known to be the selfie king. So it's not going to be much of a challenge for me. So please try to lose. Although, <laughs> just so you know, the questions are about tech and general knowledge. Okay. So you're probably going to whoop my ass in the tech business. I don't know. See. Are you in? Crowd? I, I'm in the website, but I don't know what the code is. It's TJJS. TJ. All right. So get in there. Okay. Now, you got to log in with a name. Okay. And if you're in and you're ready to play, we're actually going to start the competition. Sure. Are you in? I'm in. All right. We are ready to go. So the questions are going to come out on the screen there as well. And basically, you have 60 seconds. The faster you answer the correct question, the higher your scores are. Cool. We're going to have scores. All right, ready? Best man wins. All right, here we go. Let's go. First question. What is this known? What does it mean to break things and move fast with... Oh, my Lord. Woo! And the answer is... Oh, dang it. What did you answer? A. Oh. You're not supposed to ask, dude. Why not? Because you make me look stupid. Alright. Who is the sister-in-law of your dad's only brother? What? Uh, uh. Wait. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what did I just do? I just... I got... I fell for it. <laughs> I just fell for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ah. Aleng, I wish you were here to help me. A good friend of mine in uh, San Francisco. She probably knows the answer. All right, hey, what is the answer? I don't know this answer. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, not too bad. I think I'm ready to join you in the business. I got my shit together, yo. All right, what's next? Uh, I think I'm ready to be a unicorn. Anybody want to invest in Jiggy? <laughs> Cheap bastard. Selling himself publicly. Oh. I knew it. All right, okay, three more questions. Man, I hope you're going to lose, man. I like how he's got a poker face going on. Hey, nah. Your moment of truth is coming. What's your answer? Right. All right. Two more to go. Who's it going to be? Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I think it's that. I think it's that. Ah! Woohoo! I'm ready to go into the startup world, yo. And the last one. What is composed? Oh, what? 50% nitrogen? What? Are you kidding me? Um. Oh, my lord. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. This is what we call hantam, whack money. Oh man! Seriously? Alright. No way! I lost! So <laughs> Dude! That's not fair, man. Alright, you're, you're the smarter man. Okay, so I'll get to the hashtag at some point in time. I'll take the picture with you if you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Actually, there we go. Yeah, okay. That's what we're that's, talking that's about. It. All right, so, all right. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, Siri yeah. doesn't even understand. S Aaron yeah. taking a <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> selfie. That's pretty good, actually, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's happening now is um, I want to announce next week's challenge. So, to all our viewers out there, the challenge is actually not really much of a challenge, but here's what's going to happen. Uh, we've got Aaron here today, and the man knows his stuff. And if you're thinking of going to the tech world or getting into the tech business and all of that stuff, 
post your best question to Aaron and we will answer it. I will answer it on the show, but it's going to be his answer, by the way. So when you get into the bottom of our commenting uh, uh, section of our stream, feel free to post a question to Adrian. Uh, Adrian to Aaron! Oh my God! Who's Adrian? <laughs> 20 years and all that. Come on. <laughs> okay. And we've got prizes for the best one. What do you got for them, man? So we're going to give you two tickets to Universal Studios in Singapore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Is that from VD? Yeah, it's from VD. Holy smokes. I want to pop a question. Two tickets to Universal Studios. Bring those questions in, baby. And also... A limited edition Jiggy John Show t-shirt, baby! So bring those questions in. And on that note, this is for you, Aaron. Oh, thank you. I know, because, you know, I appreciate the fact that you came on the show. He says he's an L. I somehow strongly do not believe that. But I think he's living in denial. Yeah, but, but I qualified that, yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Later, yeah. I'll show you, okay? okay. Privately, all right? All right! Okay. Well, so that... Before you do that, I got a gift for you as well. Oh, See, no kidding. Nadia set the bar oh, so high. Nadia, yeah, thank I tell you. you. Future guests need <laughs> to keep doing this. Yes, so, bring it on, bring it on. Do you know something for you? Ooh. Uh, maybe Ooh. for us later? Ooh. Ooh, Cigar Malaysia. Yeah, they should make me a... Oh, some Cubanos. Cubano. We got the, the Upmans. Are they both Upmans? They're both Upmans. Very nice, very nice. Well, uh, that's a different topic for those under 18, not important, you can tune off right about now. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's episode, episode 2. So folks, viewers, this is Aaron Sarma, my definition of what a technopreneur is. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. Uh, we'll be dropping it uh, on Instagram tomorrow and on YouTube the day after. So remember, like, subscribe, follow The Jiggy John Show on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and most importantly, subscribe on YouTube. My man, thank you so thank much. You, sir. Absolute pleasure. This was fun. I, I really hope uh, you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself. And uh, I think you, it was apt to have you on the show because you have been disrupting your segment of the market. And this is what I believe is going to be the start of something to come. And remember, we've got something to talk about. Oh, by the way, yeah, we've got some unfinished business. So watch the space. And I'm just going to leave it out there. Because, sure. you know, we, you know what I'm talking about. So, folks, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. My name is Jiggy John. This is episode two of the Jiggy John Show. Uh, really hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Looking forward to the comments. And stay tuned for episode three. We'll be back a week from today, every Wednesday, 8 o'clock, streaming live, the Jiggy John Show. Over and out, baby.